Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are breaking down a brand new feature here in Modern Warfare 2 known as weapon tuning. So I've been playing a bunch today trying to max out my M4 because if we actually go through the, uh, the weapon platform here for the M4, you'll notice that at max level here, which in this case is 20, we unlock weapon tuning. Now, this is not something that was available in the beta and it's brand new to Call of Duty and something that's gonna be really, really interesting. So I wanna go through this general overview of what exactly it looks like and how it actually affects your weapon as well. So uh, like I said, this is available for max unlock on any given weapon. So like on the Icarus here, if we go up to 16, you get weapon tuning. On the uh, M16, it's 13 uh, or 16 rather here, you get the weapon tuning there as well. So every time you max a weapon you can go through and actually tune things now you'll notice i've got a setup here that i've been running and for the barrel here now above it you can see i've got the option to tune and i go in and i'm met with this graph here where i can on the left side adjust the barrel for recoil steadiness or aim walking move speed and on the bottom i can adjust for damage range or ads speed and you'll see on this graph here as i go through and adjust the damage range all the way over You'll notice it gets a little bit worse for handling there that dips in a little bit but my range uh and my damage range actually ends up extending quite a bit for the other way though if i go all the way down for ads speed you'll notice my range and my damage sort of creep in a little bit so they're not going to be as balanced so you can actually end up doing this for a lot of different attachments as mentioned i could do it on a barrel here if i were to go ahead and throw on a muzzle i could also tune this as well if i wanted to for recoil smoothness or an aim down sight speed and on the bottom for velocity which is actually huge on suppressors or aiming idle stability now keep in mind like this suppressor for instance hurts my damage range some other ones though might not and you can actually go through and adjust those you could also do the same thing for under barrels here too if i were to go ahead and uh, and drop the suppressor off there can tune my under barrel for recoil stabilization or ads speed and you'll notice here on the graph as i go through with the recoil stabilization the handling gets a lot worse but the recoil and accuracy get better for ads speed you'll notice the recoil suffers a lot but the handling gets a lot better uh, so this is a really, really interesting feature that, again, available all over for the, uh, you know, rear grips for the stocks here. Even your optics can be tuned for flinch resistance and ADS speed and eye position. So I actually want to go through and sort of break down how exactly this affects uh, gameplay as well, because we can use the firing range and see what exactly is going on here. So if I were to use this build here, you'll see we don't have any tunes in place right now. This is all pretty much stock stuff. If I were to adjust the, uh, the weight there a little bit, uh, this is basically all the stock stuff. I have not adjusted anything here. And if we go into the firing range, we're gonna shoot this and see exactly what this is like. So I'm not gonna control the recoil at all here. I'm just straight up going to shoot this M4 and see exactly how it plays out. You'll notice, it's kicking a little bit up into the left and straight vertical. That's what it looks like down the actual firing range. I can actually do it on the wall here too. So you guys can see exactly what the pattern is like when I shoot this. And then we're gonna go ahead and try and adjust this for recoil as well, right? So pattern up and to the left, up and to the left, and then straight vertical, right? So we can see that. We also have this view on our site. Keep in mind, this is what it's looking like now. Now, if we were to go ahead and leave the gunsmith here, first thing I wanna do is go ahead and tune the uh, eye position. I wanna be as far out as possible. So we'll tune that to minus 1.95 inches. Let's go through the firing range, see what this looks like now. You can see, it seems like it's a little bit more zoomed out, right? So it's a tad bit different there. You can see here when it's all zoomed in, uh, this scope is obviously a lot closer to me, so I, it looks a little bit different there. Personally, this isn't something I would necessarily change a ton out of the, uh, the, you know, the loadout itself. That seems like it's kind of an awkward thing to change. I'd probably leave that more towards the center position, right? But it is something you can end up doing. Uh, but like I said, I want to focus on recoil here. So for the tuning, we're going to go for recoil steadiness on the left, meaning we're going to go all the way up on that. And for the bottom, we'll go for damage range just to make it, uh, you know, nice and uh, heavy and, uh, you know, long range based for that. Now, for our stock here, we can also tune for ADS speed, aim walking speed, idle stability. We'll go for the stability on there as well. We'll go for aim walking steadiness. That's how we'll tune that one. For our rear grip here, we're going to tune this as well. And here again, we can go for recoil steadiness. We can also go for aiming idle stability. So we're going all out on control. Now that we have this build, let's go through, let's test it and see what it's like. So we saw the shots obviously earlier before. Again, not controlling recoil here whatsoever. As you go through and shoot it, you'll see it's not as harsh. My last bullets ended about right there versus all the way up here. And again, we have our bullet pattern here up and to the left, up and to the left, up and to the left. If I stand back here, go at it once again, again, not controlling recoil whatsoever on this. We're gonna go through and you can see the recoil pattern is actually quite different depending on how you tune this. Now it's a lot more stray vertical and you'll notice that the pattern itself, the uh, you know, jumps in between each bullet are also a little bit different. Not only is it not going as far to the left 
and, and moving horizontally like that before going vertically it's basically straight vertical but the sporadicness if that's a word if you will uh of the bullets is a lot different as well so while we change the pattern doesn't necessarily mean it got better right so that's the first interesting thing to note here also by the way as we are going through this every single day i got you covered with the latest news updates class setups tips all things going on in cob between mw2 warzone 2 and dmz you're gonna find it right here on the channel around 52 percent of viewers watching aren't subbed yet and we are on the road to 900k hoping to hit that before the end of the year so if you want to guarantee you're always up to date be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications as well but yeah so we can change the uh, like easy recoil stuff there uh and you know you can adjust that as needed obviously if you don't want all steadiness and you want some decent aim walking move speed you can change that as is and again this is available for all different kinds of attachments in this case while we're still using a build that is meant for you know some range here obviously with this 20 inch barrel we could also do something uh like the uh trench pro barrel here which uh for instance helps out with ads speed and if we were to focus a lot on ads speed with this build obviously our stock is already doing that as well this rear grip helps for control but if we were to go for the ads speed on this one we could actually now adjust these all even more to make them even faster so we'll go in with this build now into the firing range and do the same thing but focus on our ads speed that's about what it's looking like here decently fast for a rifle obviously the control not going to be all that great it's again sort of that up into the left pattern and you'll notice that obviously it starts off a little bit lower and ends a lot higher than our other ones but this is not a recoil build so that's just like the basic ads and speed of this as is let's go out though let's now adjust all this for speed shall we let's go through aim walking speed and then ads speed we're going to throw all of this to max there so the mobility obviously on this graph is reaching out a lot more than others let's go for our optic here as well tune this for ads speed uh then our sight or our distance to the site doesn't really matter too much our stock here let's go through tune this all the way down to ads speed and then honestly we can probably just leave this in the middle here for the uh just general length on that um and then now let's see what this build looks like in the firing range so we can see here again this is a rifle keep in mind that's a very speedy ads now the recoil not great but what this system is going to allow you to do and this is just one example obviously on the m4 here what this is going to allow you to do though is use attachments uh that maybe are meant for range that give you some good damage range some good control as their base stats but then adjust them to be a little bit faster so you could use a long barrel and make it have you know a much snappier ads if you wanted to you could use a short barrel like this and actually kit it out to be almost an ar smg hybrid if you wanted to so where it's a lot snappier and a lot more aggressive as well you can take stocks here that help out with the sprint to fire and help out with the ads and make it so that they actually have other pros with aim walking steadiness or that they have better aim walking strafe speed as well and really maximize things there i don't think this is going to be something you absolutely have to do on a weapon for the most part just simply changing the attachments you know from a ads based barrel to a recoil based barrel is going to do the most but this is a way to really fine tune and give your weapon more of a unique feel which honestly is a really really cool upgrade and in certain cases like for our laser here i'm not able to modify this one but as you saw we have plenty of options to do this so a lot of setups here are going to feel different for different players while you could copy and paste you know my exact setup here if you were to tune it a little bit different it could feel entirely different in game which is a really cool thing to make the sort of replayability of the game a lot different from before so that's the general rundown on what exactly is going on with the weapon tuning here also i should throw on the camos here we are you know we're going towards gold right you gotta get three kill streaks next but anyways weapon tuning brand new feature highly recommend trying this out and with the ability to actually go into the firing range here it makes it so easy to test these builds which honestly is awesome you can see the control here feeling a little bit better except for at range but all that being said, that's going to wrap things up for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. It would be seriously appreciated. And if you guys are new to the channel, like I mentioned earlier, every single day I got you covered with all things that you need to know for Call of Duty. So if you want to guarantee you're always up to date. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.